Hello ladies and gentlemen, Frodenstack here, and welcome back to the House of Wessex series. It's been a little while since I've uh, played this uh, series. Where the hell have I been? Why is there been like a like 15 day gap or something between the last video? I've been busy with other stuff. Work's been generally busy with the end of year coming up around Christmas. Um, so I've been in a bit longer, more hours than normal. Um, and um, I've also been working on some mods, actually. Uh, a custom general overhaul for the Americas campaign for the Kingdom's expansion of Mabel Two Turtle War. Um, so I recently finished that, so that's taken up a fair bit of time. And I'm also working on a uh, Divide and Conquer version 5 custom general overhaul, which is going to be a much bigger project than you would have seen with the um, with the Americas one. Because Americas has like, what, one, two... Uh, how many factions is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Uh, 10 something factions maybe less maybe more i don't know um i don't i don't remember the, the exact number count of the factions i just remember adding them in but um <laughs> but yeah because uh, the dac has 26 factions so generally the overhaul for that's gonna take a while uh the plan is when the general, general overhaul for dac is done i'm gonna uh, start a new r the nine campaign which i did a faction vote for which has recently won the vote and last i checked it's still firmly in the lead um with the American America's custom drum overhaul, I'm going to be starting up an England series with the colonies of New England and kicking that off uh, soon as well. That's everything's done. All I need to do is actually sit down and maybe record the uh, the custom drum overhaul announcement video for like the mods and the install guide. And then I'll do a few overviews on the different factions and custom generals and whatnot, what's going on. Um, and then once that's done, so probably three videos, then I can start the England campaign. Um, and then of course we've got House of the Dragon going on, that's still ongoing. I did a Westeros War of Conquest announcement hot seat recently. Um, because that's now gonna start soon, I need two more players, and then that's up, ready to go. Um, House of the Dragon's still going, going, uh, got how we're doing the Dance of Dragons next, so that'd be kind of fun. Uh, playing as either Aegon or Rhaenyra, or probably both, I think. Or I might do one and then maybe come back to a second at some point, but we'll see. Um... Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just kind of shorting the House of Dragon because I could do like loads of scenarios with Aegon, Rhaenyra, um, Bale of the Blessed, Aegon, Dare of the Young Dragon. I could do loads. But I might try and make it not as long because I kind of want to do other stuff. I've been doing the House of Dragon series for a while now. Like, I just want to you know, get to an end point with it and uh, move on to something new. Um, which I'll probably do like a vote for or something. Um, and of course, we have this series as well, which I ended off on a bit of a cliffhanger last time. However, I've noticed actually clicking over, looking over who the hell is winning and whatnot, that Harold Hadrada is actually won. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen now if Harold takes the throne. Will our war end? I assume it still will carry on, right? But, um... I guess we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, we're doing this series, and this is probably going to go for a while, I imagine. Um, let us see. Yeah, my daughter's in prison, by the way. Um, daughter, sister. But yeah, House of Dragon. I'm gonna probably do like a new Dynasty House series or um, replacing House of Dragon once it's done. Um, so yeah, I my outline for it now, and I'll quickly tell you is I want to do Dance of Dragons with either Aegon or Rhaenyra. I haven't decided who yet. I'll do it with one of them, and then I'll probably come back and do a series with like either Aegon or potentially Rhaenyra later down the line, and do like a house series of that, and maybe play as like a Canet Branch or something or other. I'm not really sure. We we'll figure out, um, and then before we do uh, the Young Dragon Conquest with Egg, um, they're on the uh, they're on the Young Dragon, uh, do the Conquest of Dawn, which should be pretty easy, um, and then we we'll move on to the Blackfire Rebellions, and then we we'll probably play as either Demon or, or um, probably uh, they're on the Good actually, because I've never actually ever seen anyone ever play, and it could just be because I haven't looked hard enough, but I've never actually seen someone actually play. As they are on the good um, against Damon Blackfire, everybody tends to play as the Blackfires or um, one of the other great houses. So it'd be nice to play as probably play as them actually, and then sit, maybe save the Damon Blackfire for like a Blackfire Dynasty or something like that in the line. Um, so we do uh, the Blackfire Rebellion. I won't bother recording anything else like the after the spring, um, the second third Blackfire Rebellions. There's just it's, it, it uh, the second second one ends before it even starts, so we can't really record that. Uh, the third and fourth are fucking brutally hard for the black fires. It, it's un completely unwinnable, <laughs> so I won't even bother showing that. Um, and if we were playing the Targaryens, we'd steamroll them. 
Uh, there is the Wildling Invasion, actually, with Makar versus uh, Raven Redbeard, who actually starts with, like, 100,000 guys. So I might possibly do that, because that might actually be a challenge if he starts with 100,000 dudes. Uh, that could be quite interesting, uh, but we'll see what happens there. I might do that, or I might not. And then after that, we'll probably move on past Makar to the War of the Nine Penny Kings, where I probably might give it a go as... um. I may edit the scenario a bit to make it a bit more, you know, winnable for Blackfires. So I may play as either uh, Melees or Jaharis and see if we can I uh, hold back the tide of the Blackfires, something like that. Um, and then, yeah. Then after Nine Penny Kings, it's obviously it's going to be the War of Usurper as the Mad King, which won't be very long because the Mad King tends to get assassinated, and then we end up as uh, Rhaegar. So, unless, unless Rhaegar gets, you know, murked at the Trident, but we'll, <laughs> that we'll see. Uh, so we'll probably play as, uh, we do that. With Aerith and Rhaegar, probably after. Um, and then, obviously, after then, the Targaryens were next. So, I did contemplate doing the Viserys Targaryen and Return to the Iron Throne, which I might do as, like, a pre-Clash of Kings start, like, 29... Was it 8298, I think? Oh, no. Yeah. Just before Robert dies, and then set up a scenario, rebellion going on there, like the War of uh, the Beggar King scenario with... Uh, but we'll see. Because I may save that for like another Targaryen run, maybe. Where I just play as Viserys and try and start the dynasty there or something. And it will probably turn to like a Canet branch. Which may or may not happen with this as well. But Westeros is much bigger than England, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, so yeah. S yeah, so we'll probably do, we'll do War of Usurper. Then we'll move on to the Clash of Kings, which will be as Daenerys. And we'll try and get her on the Iron Throne. Let's see how well that goes. And then finally, I end off with Young Griff in the Feast of Crows start with Aegon Targaryen, who is meant to be a Targaryen, although allegedly is a Targaryen. Although it could just be a Blackfire or someone else or some lowborn kid that Varys is like, oh yes, we'll use him as a, we we'll use him as to to take the throne, but yeah, it isn't a him at all. But yeah, <laughs> who knows? Um, but uh, and then yeah, that will end off with Aegon. A lot of people might want me to do John, but. I kind of want to do like a John Stark Targaryen thing at some point. I don't know what. I, I don't know what it would be. It might be that. Or I might do a Jon Snow like Beyond the Wall Wildling thing where he's with the Wildlings, with Ygritte and stuff like that. And he's not, hasn't gone south to become King of the North or Warden of the North. I might do that with Jon. I'll save Jon for something else. Or maybe a Stark in this day because Jon, you know, in my, you know, I know he's not really a Stark, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, let's bloody well carry on with this and see what the hell happens when um, the Vikings take over. Which... Why was I besieging this? I've no idea. We'll carry on with that. I may have to get some mercenaries. If the tide gets even worse, though, we may have to. But it's just a matter of time waiting for him to win, I think. We'll go kill some Danish over here. Oh, there we go. And he's won. <laughs> so it begins. So now we have to fight England as well as... Uh, although he hasn't got many troops from England, actually. Yeah, Prince Magnus is still the... Uh... Is he the heir, actually? Yeah. So Magnus will inherit both kingdoms when Harold dies, which is game likely with his age. So... So he's defeated... Um, what's his face? Oh, the Scottish and Welsh War ended, actually. That's interesting. So that war's over. Um, why is he? A f oh, <laughs> sorry, I just need left in. And the Scots. Oh, they're still. Hang on, what? Does he still have Cumberland? No. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that game's on about there. Right, we turn around, and defeat the two thousand Norwegians over here. Ooh, hello. Oh, Duke, Flat is dead. The Lancasters are dead. They're out of the game already. Fuck me, he died of cancer. That's really unfortunate for that guy. Oh, she was pregnant with his kid. Well, I think it's his kid. But see if he gets the land. So the Lancasters aren't quite dead. We we'll see what happens there then, I suppose. Oh, hello. There's eight thousand guys there. So what's happened with Scotland then? Are they still at war of? Thingy. So they're at War of Harold over Cumberland. Oh wait, they have. Oh, they have it. Wait, what? 
Oh, no, 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 no. So, hang on. <laughs> it's getting confusing. So, Harold is fighting the Scots for Cumberland. Oh, I see. Which, I mean, you could win, actually. <laughs> Unless he gets killed. Um, and the Tudors, they're not fighting for uh, Cornwall anymore. Interesting. Right, we still have a job to do. Let's uh, finish these guys off. I feel like the game volume is a lot higher than normal. I think it's... Is it normal? I don't know. I haven't played Sega 2 in a while, so... There you go. Let's do that. That's less, less loud. Oh, hello. He's called in... Oh, right. Oh, right, yeah. I feel that's already... We still got the Welsh on our side, that's why. Um There's no point besieging this because this is <laughs> this has already been taken. Oh, he's going for Gloucester. That from the Essex troops. Um actually to be fair, Winchester does have like not Winchester, Middlesex has like four river crossings, so maybe it might be worth But the thing is that we're not. Hmm. We'll go to Oxford and Lost has quite a few. He's, where is he going? He's going to Bath. Does Bath have any crossings? Yeah, it does. Only one, though. Oh, I don't want to do that. Maybe move down to Wiltshire. Because he's only got 8,000. He's cut off on most of his troops. Because he's gone so far ahead. He's called him the Russians. Great. <laughs> he's fighting. Oh, he's... Oh! Oh, this is a good. He's got into combat with the Normans. Excellent. I will immediately go across there and get involved. I don't know if we'll get any crossings if we move there now, but we'll see what happens. Um, but because he's already attacked, William has got a river crossing. I know he only has 5,000 guys, so he's probably not going to win. His brother's been wounded, though. Welcome to... Uh... So he's still in jail. Uh, he died of... Oh, he died of that. Uh, he died before the game started. Tostig's still alive. He's there with the, uh, the Norwegians. So the Danish, are they still in there? Yeah, he's still in there. He's got the Holy Roman Empire. Which, the Holy Roman Empire could be a decent fight if they finish their war with France. Which I think they're all winning. Are they winning? Yeah, they're going to win that. Holy Roman French to dual war. Yeah, because... Uh, the French are fighting that. I don't know. If, are the Byzantines winning that of interest that, while I'm uh, over here? Uh, not particularly, no. <laughs> the Tudors aren't really doing a lot. Um, what's the Irish up to? Uh, yeah, because Godfrey's dead. She's been taken prisoner. Um, and now his son Fingal's in charge. He's not a kid yet. Oh, no. No, that's another person she was married to. Um, but Fingal, he's 65% in favour of that. Uh, he's winning most of the wars, I think. But um, anyway, we'll wait for um, them to finish their fight over here then. Hopefully we don't get a river crossing when they're done. Yeah, the Vikings have won that. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> I'm not unsurprised with that result, to be honest. I think the Normans have lost quite heavily. I'm surprised, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's taking York off the Yorks. That's very interesting. Uh, Morkar's been... Oh, right, yeah, because he's doing invasion. So... Because any, like, land up here, he's given off to other people. Duke Malcolm's still uh, Duke of that. So who's lost their stuff? So Edwin is now the Duke of York. He's got Lincoln and Leicester now. Uh, so you've got Leicester and Lincoln. And the rest of these lands have been given off to other Viking lords in the area. And so is Lancaster, actually. That's one of the brands. So Lancaster, so he's lost his stuff. And Harold's got the... I'm interested to see what happens there, because she, oh, she's married that guy. In the north. Interesting. Who is a vassal of... Uh, he probably did it to please his vassals, I imagine. Uh, so the Yorks have lost their stuff. Uh, what happened to House Carling, actually? Oh. <laughs> he got revoked from uh, Morkar um, before before Harold took it. But then he conquered it in the war anyway. And grew up to this guy. 
Which I think Westmorn has a... Yeah, Herbert's lost it. Where has he gone now? Uh, back to France. <laughs> okay. So the card in line might continue there with her. Um, it'd be interesting if uh, Harold wins that war against Scotland, actually. But we'll see what happens there. Oh, but it's got more reinforcements. Although he has taken lo lost like 2,000 guys in the war. This battle's going forever. We still have Nomi. No, that's fine. Um, welcome to Robert the Bruce. No, he's still alive. Well, it's not the Bruce, but oh, it's fine. The Danish. Yeah, look at that. Morale. The morale's already gone. And we've just... Uh, basically, I can only imagine the Welsh just stood there over, over in Wiltshire and thought, right, well, we'll just let them beat them to get to death with sticks and swords, and then we'll come in and attack them. And I can only imagine the Welsh just rode in there with their cavalry and just fucked them up. Because, actually, to be fair, we don't... Actually, do we have a lot of cavalry? No, we have, like, hardly any cavalry. Okay, so maybe we... Maybe we gave them a decent charge of our cavalry and then we just brought our troops in. Although, maybe not, because they have pikes. Okay, we, we, we marched from Wiltshire over over the hill. It just sounds better if you suddenly <laughs> you rode into battle, but yeah, well. Norwegians are battered to shit. We can defeat them here. We've captured Duke Malcolm Stewart, actually. Oh, and we've captured the king. Well, that's that then. <laughs> well, that's easy. Um, <laughs> that, well, we captured a lot of people. So we captured the Duke of uh, Northumberland. Can't ransom him off. But if I release him now, will that make him like me? Maybe. Uh, we captured one of his bishops. Which I could have executed. I could have ransom him after that. One. Is that... <laughs> yeah, it's December when the Christmas music comes on in CK2. Can we ransom this guy off? Yeah, we can. Well, that's them defeated. That went swimmingly well. I'm always thinking that's maybe too easy, but... Do I have, do I have Shattered Retreat on? Why do I turn that off with this? Nah, that's the rules as hell. Yeah, I thought it was. Duke William still got my fucking system, so I'm not entirely thrilled about. Although, when we get the throne, we could probably have him as an ally. Maybe his father, actually. He doesn't won't add won't hate us as much. I might turn Shattered Retreat off for this, actually. But anyway, we won, I suppose. I don't know if there's any point really keeping this going, because we've won. Um, he still get to be King of Norway, but we've won the and he probably get to claim his stuff back. Right, let's do a save. That went swimmingly well. Okay, brilliant. Let's not save over that one because I was screaming. Then again, I can just download it back. So it's not in the world. But anyway, we're in the war. We've got... Who have we got in prison so far? Uh, This guy who is... Who? I don't even know. There's some guy over in... Oh, I don't even know. We're going to let him go. We captured the normal in battle. We're still going to be at war with the Normans, so there's no point locking them up. Our, um, hopefully he gives me like a repeating bonus if I release them. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's not. It used to be like uh, plus 50 opinion if you release someone, but now it's not anymore. I could have him tortured, actually, but I don't want to kill him. I kind of want to have him beaten and sent back to... Because I'm sure Edgar's grown up with the tales of what happened to Ragnar Lothric. Killing Ragnar and then having him... <laughs> Having him then dead and then sent up to fucking, uh, and then the Vikings came back with a bigger fucking army and invaded England. So I think we're probably not going to make a mis mistake that King Ayla made, I think. What the hell's going on in Sweden? War against a tyranny. Oh, that's interesting. They might kick um, one of the, the uh, current King of Sweden out of uh, office. The next threat after Harold is going to be the Normans finishing them off and then probably uh, the Germans, which is going to be interesting. Let's, hope, let's not have the, the Reich in charge of England, to be honest. <laughs> it's not going to go well. Anyway. Oh, hell, the new king. And he's nicked a bunch of my stuff. Of course he has. Oh, that's going to be annoying. So I think there will be quite a few wars with Norway to get back my lost territories. Oh, uh, that's annoying. 
Has he got the fucking dukedom? We might be able to usurp some of this, to be fair. I can make the Duchy of York. That's fine. Okay. King Edgar II, the usur usurper? I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess usurper, but... He's still got him in jail, that's fine. Okay, we won. Um, now we've got the Swedes to deal with. The Swedes. The Danish. Right, let's just end the... Okay, so we have England, pretty much. Um, yeah, now, for some reason, Gower's going to be my capital, but we have to move on. We'll allow that for now. It's got all the good provinces as well. And uh, Harold Gorbinson has this, which I can't... Do I have any claims to Winchester, actually? No, I never gave him claims, no. I mean, if she nicks it, that's going to be a pain in the ass. And for fuck's sake, Devon is also part of bloody... Um, the Norwegians. Oh, that's annoying. So, I mean, then again, it is the de, uh, de Jure Wales, though, isn't it? So, yeah. We've got a few of his Viking vassals, so that's... <laughs> that's fine. Um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do there with the succession there. Um, is there a Lancaster alive now? Ah, I can give it to this guy, apparently. Who is this? Oh, his nephew. I can invite him to my court. I suppose they shall. Uh, why not, I guess. No, I don't know what will happen there. But that kid would be born up north, so I wouldn't be able to give him back their lands. Um, right, we've got court allies in against the uh, the rest of our wars. Um, we need to be at peace first. This is the normal that's at war with me. Although, is he actually... Yeah, he's one of the commanders. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do now where we've got everything. So I guess we should probably uh, assign some commanders now we can. And we got a higher title. Get one of the goblins to prove their loyalty. We'll go and deal with the with this then, shall we? Which for now, we have 9,000. Isn't aren't we haven't we got mercenaries? Yeah. So most of our men are mercenaries. Which for now, it's we're going to have to keep. For now, we need to ride up the Navy around. We're riding them at Wales for now. And, um... And Beowulf. <laughs> Is that Beowulf? Well, Beyond Wolf. I mean, close enough. Alright, it seems the, uh... The, um, Anglo-Saxons are... The Anglo-Saxons did. The... <laughs> The f we are Anglo-Saxons. The um, Goblin is winning that, so that's good. I oh, know. Just fuck it off. Coward! Oh, bugger. Where's he going? Oh, he's going there. That's not what I want to do. Uh, if I bring them in, they're going to die. So, let's not do that. Why has he got a claim to uh, Lancaster? By who? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Guess there's a claim to Lancaster. Maybe. Does. Uh, will um, uh, Harold have claim to. I imagine. Yeah, he will. And will the. Nor I'm guessing Norway will as well. Even though they control half my shit. But <laughs> gloss over that for now and we'll deal with that eventually. But. What is he doing? Oh, he's gone there. Let's just kill him. <laughs> Let's just kill the bugger. The only advantage to um to the Normans winning is that we would have got a bit of France, but doesn't matter. I'd rather stay in England for now. Here we go. They do have a mounted advantage, and he is here, William. Let's see if uh, I'll get these guys to follow him for now. Okay, it's actually taking a while. Oh, some times one. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell is the battle going so fucking slow? What's the Irish doing? How's the Irish doing? We are losing money. Hmm. 
But if we uh, lose our mercenaries, we won't get any. We won't be able to get hold them back. Are we gonna lose this? Fuck me. We're gonna take that more of our flanks. Jesus Christ, no, we've broken ground. Thank God. That was good. That was really close though. And we've captured Duke William the Bastard. Excellent stuff. <laughs> We're getting, getting quite lucky with the captures here, aren't we? Force of demand. And he loses claim in England. Excellent. Bugger off back to Normandy, you scum. Alright, we need we've got work to do. We need to go over to uh, the Danish sooner than later. Because otherwise we're going to be running out of time. We can take... Is that 5,000 we can take? Yeah, we can. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to split them in half. <laughs> How many have we got in there now? About the max, I think. Why is it in 51 we have 47? I don't know. Right, well that's sorted. We're sending our 4,000 guys east. And then we're bringing them over to join us later. Um, I have an organizer that's not me. Nope. Fine. Right, Lando will lead the forces east. Great, okay, great Irish. No, <laughs> great Italian name. If they join me over in Denmark, that would be appreciated. But I don't know if they, the AI is that smart. I can create the Duchy of York, though. But wouldn't do I sack? Yeah, I'm not waiting. I, where did the money come from? Oh, right, yeah, because Normandy gave me... Money, excellent stuff. Right, we need to go over to Denmark sooner or later. Thankfully, the... <laughs> Thankfully, Wessex... Uh, not Wessex. <laughs> Harold has proven himself, and he's been released from prison as well. He has proven himself, although they're, they're going to have problems and issues with my land. I'm surprised we won, because I did see, when I last did this recording, I saw that... Um, the Normans had, uh, not the Normans, the Norwegians had like 14,000 guys. I don't know where that 14,000 men went, but, I don't know. Why did I, okay. Right, we'll go over here. Let's not fight the Germans, because there's a fuck ton of them. Although the French, I give them hell of a, yeah, 16,000. I am I could try and get a little battle, and actually, hang on a minute. The French are somehow winning. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's give the French a hand here and just beat the shit out of this guy. Now there's a bit of an opportunity there to kill some Germans and we just had to take it. <laughs> They're pretty quick, didn't they? Jesus. I'm used to West Coast where I'm like, right, I need to send my troops from the Westlands to fucking uh, say <laughs> say here fucking Crownlands. They'll probably take half the game to get there. So I'm used to that, but then <laughs> it's just, they're there already. Yep. It's definitely a lot smaller map than I'm used to. And let's land here immediately. How many troops has he got? Um, the, the real problem here is that he could set up a massive army. And then they could come kill me. Which could be problematic. But I'm going to get dangerous fashions. Yep, those people are already, already rebelling against my rule. Great. Duke Focus, I'm ready. Great. Please die. <laughs> Uh, his son's trying to get on the throne. Actually, can I not... Hang on a minute. Can I not... Yes! And that's a really cheesy way he won't do it, but... I can get him as a non-aggression pact, actually. That'd be really good. Get you as a... No, I can't. I know you're already in a non-aggression pact with me, aren't you? Defensive pact. Now, what the hell's... Who's in the defensive pact against me? Oh, I see. <laughs> So we're worth attacking anyone else. Scotland, uh, some of Ireland, and Wales would get involved, which is... Is that all? Yeah. No, I mean, my, def my threatening isn't that high. Oh, there it is. Actually, is 47% high? I can't remember. I would like, um, ideally... I do have to do a claim that I should be able to retake some of this territory. Although I have to do, I have to wait until the truce in 10, uh, oh no, that's, that's, do I not have a truce? I thought I'd have a truce with uh, him, do I not? Maybe because my war, do I have a truce with him? I'm really confused. Okay, maybe not. I, I thought I'd have a truce with uh, 
of uh, the King of Norway, but I don't. Which is fine. I'll, I'll take four advantage of that, don't you worry. Actually, do I... Ah, fuck it. Risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, we can take that easily. Uh, main, maybe not with the thousand guys, but then again, we have... It is only a one fort. And the... The Scandinavian provinces are pretty weak, thankfully. Although it's going to take a bit more for the war school to go up, it seems. Does he have any more territories? He does. He has quite a few. Okay, I think the best strategy to this is just to siege all his shit. And then eventually, he has have to give up, right? Right, anyway. Um, you guys land at Hull and you can besiege that. Is that his territory as well? Oh, that's his as well. Right. Go over there and besiege that. Thankfully, the Scandinavian settlements are pretty weak, which is a good advantage for us. Again, this whole plan hinges on the fact that why is he besieging? <laughs> uh, because this place is weak as shit because of the Norwegian siege and the other people sieging it, so it's going to be weak as shit. Although, if he horrible horror up and kills the Scots for me, although he will have Humberland, though. Oh, he's in that offensive pact. Who else has joined it? Oh, the King of Arland has joined it. Okay, cool. Wait, Kaiser what? Uh, King of Connacht. Did I see King... Oh, no. I thought I saw a Kaiser, and then I was like, wait, what, has the Germans joined me? They might after this war, though. I wouldn't be surprised. So if I do try and go for Norway, which I could potentially get away with... How many troops need muster though? 10,000, great. So you can muster 10k and I can muster... Oh, okay, we're okay. 19,000, that's not too bad. But at the moment, because of the the vassals don't like us that much. Oh, we're at levy of King Edgar, it's 9,000. Total levy of... Yeah. We can get 1,900, which is pretty good. And my wife's pregnant, yay! At least tell me it's, not, it's my kid, not someone else's. I think the more we siege it, it will eventually fall to us. Over there. <laughs> if I give out council position, will that make people uh, Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Goblin likes me. It says Malcolm, probably because I let him go. I'll make him the, uh, that then. For now, I'll keep the council as it is, if I can avoid it. If, if I can avoid changing it, I will. Which is nice. I can't want to kill the Danish and I can that I end the episode so it doesn't stop ending on the cliffhanger. Yeah, wars always last a lot long well, I say it lasts longer, but then again we just schooled the uh <laughs> the Norwegians and Normans in one fucking go and then also the Anglo Saxons, so we did we haven't we've done pretty good. That's a bit more defensible, but then again that's just yeah, maybe not. You are a renowned warrior and you have proven your worth on the battlefield. Recognizing your martial valor, a knight invites you to take a knee as he places his blade on one arm, and then the other you feel a deep sense of pride from over you. Gains a minor title, sir, and gains a trait knight. Yes. I think that. Does that give us. It gives us a martial and more. Yeah, it gives us some more bonuses than, than, um, than it did in. Um, what's the word? I find in Game of Thrones it didn't give you much bonuses for being a knight. It's just, oh, you're a knight. Here's your extra um, opinion with the church. That's basically it. And by church, I mean faith to seven. I could just carry on going because I haven't recorded in a while, and I might just carry on going because if I try, if I end up recording now and start another video, my girlfriend's gonna finish work early, and then I'm gonna be like have like a twenty-minute video or like less than that. So I may as well just. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I may as well end the war there, and then then now we can. I may as well just carry on a bit longer, to be honest, because we've got a bit of stuff to do. Hello. Uh, well. Letters have been sent to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope's demand has stopped the beatification of the sinful people and revoked the rights from the rest of the clergy to do so. Wait, what? From now on, the granting of beaut is it beautification? Will be given up by the Pope personally the Vatican and understand more shameful examples like the wrong beautification of Gil Michael Ken down its name. I don't want any of that means, but okay. 
He's dead, apparently. Um, the recent illustrious oh, faith of Forrest. Okay. Right. I think Malcolm Scott and Seth Duke Harold has he? Yeah, he's won. Although he has. Wait, hang on a minute. Not oh, for fuck's sake. So his son's going to inherit that, so we're going to lose it again. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my plan has just fucking shot itself to pieces. I can't. Just move you over there and I'll transport you later. Um, I think, then again, if we do it, it's going to bring in a lot of fucking people against me. It's going to bring the rest of the Isles against me, pretty much. Can I defeat all of them? No, I won't. Not with fucking, not with Isle, Isle of Man. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say, not of his massive mercenary army, which is now non existent. That's okay, that's fine. Who's got the mercenaries? Because <laughs> usually they tend to swap sides unless he's been forced to disband them all. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what I might do is make York my. If I can take York, I'll make it my capital or Lancaster, maybe. But York's better, though. It's funny, because the last Sigur 2 campaign I did, I made York my actual capital. Which is... <laughs> Things will repeat itself. I am going to have to disband my levies when I get there, but that's fine. But yeah, I think the idea is to go after Norway now, because otherwise they're going to get too strong again. They've already got 8,000, but we can we can rush them. We can kill the crap out of them. Uh, Philip's come of age. He's got severely injured though, so he may not be alive for much longer, and his brother may take over. How's the Tudors doing? He's got a bit... Oh, great, he's got a lunatic. Great. Alan may or may not be in charge sooner or later. William's still alive. His brother died. No, oh, yeah. His brother's dead. This guy's still lord of that. Uh, you're in charge of that. The Pendragon's still alive. Elf wine's yet to marry her, so it's going to be a while. House Rose controls that, although they haven't picked a Rose Manor. He's got the uh, Kents. There's a lot of goblins in charge of titles, which is okay, but I am still... Ah, oh, she's been in charge. Good. Um, the Yorks have been moved down to Warwick, although he does have a son who's got sickly, so... And his brother's still alive. Um, Stuart's still alive. He quite likes me. That's nice. The Lancasters were... Let's see if his kid came of age. Yeah. Elaine Mapflad, who's genius. Oh, Clubford. He's now Lancaster. Um, if he ever returns, I might try and give him land, maybe. But for now, I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't really do anything there. It's a good tradition to have some gossips around the pregnant woman in order to keep her calm. Yeah. Yeah, we got a load of cash now, so we're fine. We may as well organise a coronation ceremony, actually. Um, Edgar, is he particularly holy to us, the Pope? Um, um, Influential powerful Catholic bishop, Wolfstown of Worcester. I think the Pope's probably a, a bad shout, because it will legitimise... Um, our claim a bit more than any other bishop. The Pope himself. Yeah, the, the guy that speaks to God um, <laughs> crowns me as the king. I mean, that's that's probably a good shout, I think. Let's get you in there before you all die of nutrition. Not nutrition is what I used to always call it for some reason. But yeah, we have a crown ceremony, so we'll return to... Well, I, I imagine it's probably going to be Gower for now, which isn't exactly the most... Um, what's this? Implement papal investiture. No. To King Edgar II of England, I shall be glad to recognize your divine right to rule as soon as you officially proclaim that it is no business of the king to appoint members of the clergy. Was oh right, okay. I mean that's fine, right? We can revoke titles. I, mean, I want that. We can revoke titles. The Rumors Live uh, about the Trinity Hunting. If we don't have centralization in the Game of Thrones, so uh, it basically means you can have more. Okay. Fossil Walk Corrosion. Where's. Um... So, Walk Declaration is Council, actually. 
the prism. And, yeah, I like to. Um, as a rule, law. Right, so we need to get those basically to get anywhere. And inheritance, agnatic primogeniture. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about whales. But if whales inherit my shit. They could do actually. Right, let's see if we can get everyone to like me, and then I'm gonna try and get. Okay, completely interest. It's not good. Here, do it. My wife will. And he will, that's fine. Um. Hmm. Cross Council. Uh, did you, or did you say no? No. Um, I'm gonna try and get them to do that, but yeah, we implement that for now. Yeah, I can still do that thing, that's fine. If I can get imprisonment, then I can get the ruler one. Which I think I need to get the, that done first. Um, it shall be... I mean, Edgar already has the moniker of Usurper, so I think we need to sort of, like, get the... Ceremony pretty fucking big. Especially if we want a fuck ton of money in the wars. And we're gonna get... <laughs> Wait, who, just, who was that? Uh, King Malcolm the Third of Scotland's improved. No, nice. And so is King Harold of Drada, which I feel like it probably wouldn't do that, but okay. Fine. <laughs> okay. I'll make the Duke of York once I've taken York, I think. This morning, a curious visitor came to my court, a wandering scholar who has travelled to Gower after hearing news of my upcoming coronation. He claims he has heard of many tales of what a wise and virtuous ruler I am, wishes to put his knowledge to my service. Yeah, sure. Uh, late this evening, as the servants were clearing up our tables, Pope Alexander II decided to talk to me about my new responsibilities after the coronation. As a Catholic king, I will be sworn to care for the secular needs of all my subjects, as well as to stand against the style of sin and heresy beseeching no, well, our oh, word. Um, I feel like we would be... I My mistake when I set the scenario up, and I should have done it ages ago, but it's too late now. <laughs> Unless I re-edit the save, but it doesn't matter. Um, my mistake was to not... Um, Give him the Zealous trait, so I'm gonna fix that and give him the Zealous trait because my guy is pretty zealous. He's got the Monocle Crusader and Holy Warrior, um, so it can't make sense for him to be zealous. So we'll take that and go F anyone that isn't with the church, <laughs> pretty much. Um, once the coronation's over, when we're uh, march against the Norwegians, providing the council lets me. We shall. That's what I might do because, in my head, do we stick with? Do we let the Welsh get their independence after um everything that's been done? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like we've made a very good relationship with the Welsh, so it doesn't make sense for us to kill them and use the use the claims of my kid to then steal territory. That's something I don't see Edgar doing in his lifetime. Maybe his son might try it or grandson potentially but I'm not gonna do that I don't think that's something my character's gonna do Reese is still alive though I could give um potentially get uh, this kingdom off to uh are we still educating yeah we are off to um make them independent potentially but or I may give it to my son maybe I'm not really sure we'll, we'll see what happens if I can find the calling guy actually where is he we can have a few Viking guys in our court, which is fine. No, he doesn't care. Yeah, I think is my coronation done. Yeah, there you go. I kneel before Pope Alexander II as the host of vassals surround us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me and places a royal crown upon my head, proclaiming me King of England by the grace of God. Excellent stuff. Okay, and we are now the king. And we're going to do the uh, floor as well. Uh, but yeah, this video should go up. I'll probably do it like Wednesday or something in the week. So it's like in the middle of the week. There you go. Nice. Then I can do that in five years' time. <laughs> so it was 10 in the game of friends. No, we do. Right, so what's the. Who's going to fight me if I do this, this war? Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. Okay, fine. I mean, they're busy fighting, and they're busy fighting over what they fight over. Oh, he's having like a million rebellions. What's this? Oh, he's in that Isle War. Has he got any other wars going on? No. I mean, time to strike us now. Fuck it. 
Oh no, we do have a truce. <laughs> we do. We didn't didn't say we have a truce there though. Okay, fine. I guess we have a truce. Ten seventy three. Uh, then we can retake the stuff. That's fine. Oh, we can do a few claims on what's that? Uh, this guy's got a claim on Cornwall actually. This guy's a claim on Lancaster. Which I could give him Lancaster, but I I can't though because he's got fucking. I can't do that. Right, I guess. Um, we're going to have to disband our troops and come back to that, I think. We're lower the mercenaries. We don't need them. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what we'd do with Gower for now. Um, I, I think I'll keep it as my... I mean, it's my only damn um, county, so I'm going to have to keep it as the capital of England for the time being, which is in Wales, ironically. Um, I think it's probably a safe bet to just... Stay out of anything. And we got a son, excellent. Edward. I was thinking maybe Edward. Actually, is any other like kings we should name after? Edgar the second, Edward the second. Uh, Harold's not maybe not Harold because Harold's not really a popular name at the moment. <laughs> Interestingly, that if it's like a different spelling of Harold, it actually goes. It actually um, updates. So Edward, no Harold, Harold the second, Harold the third. I didn't notice that before. Didn't think that was a thing. That's, you know, that's the thing. Um, I guess probably Edward after the Confessor. But then again, did we have much of a love for Confessor? Because he did sort of like tell my father to fuck off. I'm thinking maybe my grandson, maybe. My, my grandson, my grandfather. Um, oh, God. I don't know when we bring the English spelling into, uh, into this scenario. But for now, I'll, I won't go. Okay. King Edmund after King Edmund Ironside, who was, I want to say a badass, but I don't actually think he was that good to be king. Ethelred was pretty good at killing Vikings, definitely. Um, basically, what should I call him? Ethelred, maybe. <laughs> Ethelred. Oh, it's because he took it twice. Don't know. Um, I think I'll go with. After my, maybe my father actually. I think we probably we didn't know my father very well, so I think maybe we probably would name him after my father. I think, which would make him Edward the Third, eventually. Yeah, because when the spelling changed for the English names, like Edward, you had Edward the First, Second, Third later on in the twelve hundreds to thirteen hundreds. So we call him Edward for now. That's 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 fitting. And now we need to decide to spend the next 200 years deciding who the hell to marry him off to. Which, honestly, I have no clue. Make an alliance with the, the, uh, him, but I doubt we would. I don't... Might m stop him taking the throne, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at the French. What do they have to offer? Not a lot. Uh, what's the factions like? Uh, Harold wants the throne. Duke Falkes doesn't really like me very much. It's fine. I could maybe marry his daughter, actually. He's not had a kid with her yet. I say not marry his daughter. His My son marries his daughter. I could do, because that will stop him fighting. It might make... I mean, from a law perspective, that makes sense. Because um, it, it keeps him at peace with us. He won't be able to claim England if he dies... And I kind of like that dynamic that we're trying to like keep the people happy by giving them lands and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd think I'd do that. I think. We can always cancel if he does betray me, but yeah, that will secure the uh, Wessex and the Goblins together in alliance, stop us fighting each other. Which uh, will put us into anal aggression pattern now. And we've got one of his other son, which is not bad. But yeah, I'm going to decide what I should do with Wales. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. But um, he's got the uh, the Welsh-looking trait, so that's interesting. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we've got a little load of these to... I mean, hopefully he should stop doing that war now, hopefully. Uh, we'll have the Pope back. Fuck me, 250 gold. Um, fine. <laughs> I've news spread about the grandiose ceremony I'm preparing for Edward's baptism, so my subject is to be chosen as a child's godparent. Um, Bledding, maybe? Uh, not him. 
my sister, maybe? I mean, technically, he would be his, he would be his bro um, brother-in-law. I mean, technically, <laughs> my sister would be his sister-in-law. That sounds a bit confusing. I think I'll give it to my friend Bledon, I think. <laughs> Uh, Pope Alexander II watches the child three times over, reciting the prayer to protect his soul, surrounded by a host of cardinals. Then he raises Edward up for all the crowds gathered in the great cathedral to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a cathedral in Gow? I don't think we do, do we? Or how the hell you pronounce that? I mean, I guess it's just this place. Unless we had it in London, maybe, but I don't know. Oh, here we go. It's just him. Is he insane? Why have we only got a thousand guys? I'm confused, what? Okay, what's this? As a tradition, my wife underwent her churching after recovering, cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Her mood is not improved by taking the Holy Communion, perhaps from old sins to win this. Old sin. Oh, that. <laughs> I don't know why it's a sin, though, but okay. Um, I'm sure I can calm her down, mood. Lose her distress rate. That's not a bad move. Nice. Um, let's deal with this fucker then, shall we? Why have I only got. What happened to my 10,000 guys that I had earlier? Have I have I missed something? Well, I, I have no idea. Alright, go north. I see how many men. 2,000. Where has he got 2,000 men from? And why have I only got fuck all? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this nonsense? Why has everyone just like betrayed me? <laughs> Fuck's sake. This shows we're really not in a position to... I mean, he's losing Winchester. I mean, actually, Winchester could be my capital now. He's got a kid coming, though. I mean... Fucking Plantagenets. <laughs> I knew putting him into the game was a bad idea. Alright, let's see if we can run our troops before all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Ready our troops up. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep in Gower because I think we need it. <laughs> With everything going on, we just definitely need it right now. Right, we're going to group our forces up at Warwick. Naval left defensive packs. Oh, have they? Kaiser Henry the Fourth, so but anti Pope. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. A bunch of people left the defensive pact, actually. I wonder why that was. Scotland's not in anymore. Maybe because they, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because of the rebellion, potentially? That's going on like, over in Ireland. I have a feeling his kingdom's going to fall apart at some point. Oh, he's had a few kids. Nice. Uh, 98%. Let's see. He's winning. He's winning that war. Um, The guy over here. Which is... He's 71 guys. But this other war here, he's fighting. The King of Munster, actually. Oh no. He had like 4,000 guys earlier. What happened to that? Dunno. <laughs> okay. We we'll probably need to give Harold a council position at some point. Which. Um, to be honest, I might try and keep the council as it is. I might give him a seneschal thing. Um, I'll give it to Harold to keep him happy. Um, I'll keep the swans. We give it to Malcolm, actually, make the Scots like us a bit more. Oh, I say Scots. He is, he is <laughs> Northumbri Northumbrian, but I guess he is Scots. What's this? Your court chaplain, who's 73, who be dead soon, has been discovering charging money for various religious favours. Oh, great. Um, yeah, we're having revoked, I think. Great. And I have them all to take the vows as his punishment for making a mockery of the fucking faith. Um, Ethelwald actually could be a decent shout. At least he he's come to quite far to serve me, so makes sense, I suppose. Um, we would probably hunt an apostate because we are zealous, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, we continue to collect tax, or do we do economy tech? I forget that's a thing. I'll send my wife to go study technology over in. Um, I was. Isn't. I'm pretty sure Constant. Either Rome or Constantinople is the best place to go for technology. We'll go for Rome for now. Uh, my Marshal. Which I do have better Marshal, actually, to be fair. 
But he's my friend. I think as long as he's alive, we'll give him, keep him. That. Uh, oh, blood and actually, we we'll probably keep you as. Um, I don't need claims, do I? Because I can just do de jure claims on my stuff, can't I? I can't now, but I'm British, I can. Uh, for now, we're getting to him perform the statecraft to make everyone like me a bit more. I think Carol should be able to push that because he's got that. His brother, on the other hand, is, well, being a pain. We'll call our lords together. I might have to get some mercenaries for this. And then again, we got more men. Once the Welsh join up with me, we should be fine. Uh, though some time has now passed my coronation, the good people of to in festive mood. Glad to finally see their king's status be recognised before the church. It would be nice to see if my subjects continue to celebrate my rise to the throne if it were not for the fact they are also using this as an excuse to work less. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> if you're having a big coronation ceremony, it's good to get people. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's fun. It's like the Yorks have called their banners to come deal with that for me. Alright, for men. So yeah, this video will be a bit longer because I haven't got a lot of time to record this weekend. I'm busy with my uh, modding and um, um, with my girlfriend quite a few days next week as well. So I don't really have the time for it. <laughs> recording lately. And also Christmas is coming up, so I'm kind of busy with that. Get some military points. Um, I will upgrade that for now. So I think, actually. Winchester's a bit better. Nope. Well, my command was that my command. Well, one of the other commanders was killed with that guy. Oh, well, I guess if he killed him, we'll have him killed, I suppose. Yep, I guess that's fitting. He's gonna lose a bunch of men taking that, so that's fine. King Caligan. Oh fuck, he's dead. Has broken down, and he's already married off to some Croatian girl. So there goes my alliance there, unfortunately. Or invite my sister back. Well, they're married off to some random Welsh dude. Um, who would marry her to? I don't know, actually. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal uh, veterans, uh, veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Gower for their muster. Excellent. Is that a, um, yeah, it's a special, oh, nice. I'll take that. I might try and keep them out of the war, at least I can save them. Uh, but we may need the men, actually. My sister's back. I imagine my sister's returned home to sort of tell me that her husband's dead and there's no alliance between the more white. Are they still might my... No. They're not in the war. Nope. So our troops have gone down a bit. Maybe the 181 guys were also the loyalists that were joined us and also some of the men from uh, Guang that um, were fought fighting with us but then decided to wait in the war anymore because this guy. If he dies, it goes to his... Cousin. Unfortunately, there's no alliance to be unless, actually, unless I marry my sister off to here. That's not to give me alliance, so. Um, we'll see what happens w with that, but I. Um, yeah. Oh, Cumberland, maybe. Is Cumberland part of my. Is that my de jour? No, it's under fucking Essex. Uh, Essex, sorry. <laughs> He's got control of that. Um, I'll think about who to marry her off to. Um, oh yeah, York's had a, Oh no, his, his kid died. Well, that's not good. Oh, he's married her now, so that's not really alliance to go there at all. Apparently, one of the Kent bishops have also risen up against me. Um. Let's give it to the Duke Elf what might betrayed to her. Yeah, I don't know who to really um I can't really give it to so really, um how to Cerise. He's already married. And I'm so educating this kid. That's fine. Um I'll rally my troops up at Gloucester and 
prepare there for our attack. I get a cool position. Oh yeah, that guy. Regroup all the forces over at Paris. I would imagine that would be the first force. Hey, it's my um, son's godson as well. That sucks. Died of the flu, which was a killer in those days. Uh, what would? Would what would? Um, he, we are kind, so I don't think we're gonna tear him with the bugger off. Um. We are gregarious, so I thought we'd probably go and drink in his honour. Which is fitting, I think. Uh, I probably already had one drink too many while I'm joining at the table, and equally intoxicated man takes a few minutes to rise. I'm sure it must be. Cell Wraith. <laughs> we spent quite some time drinking the Gavin Chow on Sorrows. <laughs> Perhaps a friend could be of use to us. Yeah, we'll take him. He can, uh, <laughs> he can just chill out my court for a bit, I guess. Damn wolf, what the fuck, mate? Are they all with me? But they are, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's wait for him to take this, because he's going to lose a bunch of troops taking it, and then we'll move against them. We've got. How oh, has he got a lot of tree? Yeah, we should win it. They keep raiding his camps as well, which makes him weaker, which is good. I'll move down to Bath so that way we don't get a river crossing if we. Yeah, there you go. I think if we attacked, would it actually affect us? No, well, maybe not. No, Stonehenge is here actually. The great celebration that surrounded my coronation concluded a concluded a while ago, but the trade and wealth they have brought to Gower are still lingering. And I expect a consequence of my generosity, Hexland. Nice. Come on, I'll and take the thing. I know I'm sort of making Godwin's land. I mean, then again, it's he's got two provinces. He's probably in Oxford. <laughs> That's his capital. When he when Harold dies, he will inherit. Actually, he is going to be quite powerful. He's going to inherit both of that and that under his domain, which will make him a little stronger. Which the goblins are a very powerful force to be reckoned with. Right, he's done that. Let's go and attack. So a shitty commander on both sides. And he is a decent fighter though. He's got a daughter. Which I could marry her off to uh, actually maybe my other son. To actually keep the Plantagenets loyal maybe. Or maybe fizzle out their line altogether. <laughs> this. wants his brother to marry my sister. I mean, it's not really a much for the lights, I'm afraid. <laughs> They're just too fucking small. If she wasn't betrothed, I'd marry her off to... Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's the Tudor's up to? Oh, Conan's got disfigured, apparently. That's nah, probably from his wound, I imagine. She's still betrothed. I think I'll look off camera for someone to my sister to marry to. I don't really know who the hell's that suitable, really. Duke of Ulster. Duke of Austria. Hmm. Of Leicester, no. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll look off camera because it will take me a while. Unless Arlen's got anyone... No. What about Scotland, actually? I need some marriage your wife. Duncan's... I mean, potentially Duncan, maybe? Would he accept? I mean, the age gap is a bit fucking significant. But then again, this was a common occurrence. <laughs> well, then again, if he keeps gets an alliance with the Scots, which isn't a bad move... Because Latch, even though England, and, I mean, at this stage, England and Scotland probably didn't really have much for. I mean, we have fought them in the past, when Ethelstan fought them in um, that Last Kingdom movie. But, but, so I think maybe keeping an alliance with the Scots is probably not a bad idea. Um, 
the Scots do have uh, do they have geo claims? They do. They had the other sort of a natural sort of enemy with the uh, the Norwegians actually, and we're not really friends with friendly with the Vikings after what the hell they did to our lands. But um, even though even though the Harold did come to my coronation, but I think that was more out of courtesy than anything else. Or unless we um, marry off the Prince Olaf, maybe. But would that give us much from the lions? I don't know. Because he's not the heir. It will go to his brother. But then maybe... I don't know. I feel like it... We could get... I don't know. I, I think law-wise. From a historical point of view and a law perspective, I don't see the king marrying off to the Norwegians. We're not exactly friendly with them. He's married to some Spanish girls, so that's no alliance to be had there, I don't think. Uh, so I think, yeah, we'll do that. And that way it gives us an alliance with the Scots. His brother's possessed, apparently. Yeah, we'll do that. It's a bit of an age gap, but if it secures us an alliance, or at least a peace with the Scots in the north, then I'm happy to do that. For now. There we go. And we can form alliance, which I might, may or may not call them in if the time comes where I need assistance in any wars. We'll continue to educate uh, this guy. Yeah, so that's an oath we uh, promised. Even though we were kings of Derubar when we promised it, but still. Um, it's still a promise I'm going to carry on. Although, then again, actually, <laughs> thinking about it, Malcolm did kill my adopted father actually but then again I feel as if it's not because of we love the Scots it's more of it's you know an assistance an ally against the Irish Viking forces over here the the Ivarians I suppose and maybe the French and because England's a very small king compared to Norway Sweden Denmark Denmark and England about the same size Denmark's smaller Norway's still quite big really although more in terms of like the size of their country, but not actually like the manpower or population size. But and France is quite big. Germany's big. Wales could be a threat. They're still sizable. Um, potentially problems in Spain, maybe potentially more so probably against the Irish and potentially issues with the Welsh and other rebellions and stuff like that. That's why we've done the alliance. Um, Margaret had no real emotional attachment much to um, uh, the previous king of Dehobarth other than uh, Edgar himself but it's still again a marriage of you know uh, it's still sort of it's keeping an alliance and just making sure keeping the peace really more than anything it's not a case of low oh, let's make an alliance with them it's just keeping the peace oh, there's a war going over, over in Russia but yeah we'll win back this place and yeah and we could call the Scots in but I'm not going to Give him organizer if I can. Okay. If I go down to he's gone to the old man, isn't he? Yep. But we're besieged Winchester, there's no point not besieging it. Oh hello. What's he doing? Duke Harold's leader of plot, what's he doing? Trying to kill his brother? I mean wait, what would that do if he's dead? Ah! He inherits. Of course he does. But I can't risk imprisoning him and then starting a war. Especially with the... Especially with uh, East Anglia. Then again, he is in an increased council power. So maybe his death might actually benefit me. So I'll, I'll let them carry on with that. I could call the Scots just to speed up the war, really. And also because we only have 1,600 men of our own. So maybe it's not a... Uh, I just get the boat. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, where's he going? Oh, no, he's going to sail to Wales. I can see it now. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. We set make the lights. All of a sudden, this happens. We haven't trouble one of your petty nobles who is visiting Gaul. Garrett, who? <laughs> who is this? Who is this noble? <laughs> um, His pay being not said will be quite an statement. I will have to take action soon. Yeah, we have diplomacy, so we'll make use of it. We shall show our deeper sympathies, and what the fuck's going over there? Uh, what? 
weapon against war against uh, Sweden. Who the hell's up? Oh, he's in a bunch of wars to do with the Swedish. Who's that? He's attacking the Swedes. That's fucking brave of him. Uh, he's also in a war. No, he's, he's basically helping Sweden in a bunch of wars. And he's also got this. Well, Dentin uprising. 6,000 men are besieging the Isles. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Right, we're in this war and I'll um, try and conclude the uh, video there. He's got the besiege of my capital, of course he has. I'd like to capture his daughter if I can. But I don't know if we will be able to. Alright, let's go over to fucking Wales again. <laughs> This is the one issue, if they have ships, they will just sail around and make you go all back and forth every five minutes. The river crossing, on well, the hill, sorry, may be an advantage to him, but we will still push through. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> Did we kill him? Oh, he's French. Um, uh, we are kind. He's not a heretic, so we won't kill him. So I don't think we'd butcher him. Yeah. Butcher is ours. And we need to then besiege, but to be honest, as my girlfriend's now finished, well, he's, for fuck's sake, what's he doing? Oh, for God's sake. He's fighting. Why? He's fighting the Irish against fucking... Of course he is. Unless I help the Scots to do that, because that actually makes Scotland a bit less... more stronger for me. Did you work with Galloway? So he's trying to take that, basically. Um, no, it's, what's happened here? Oh, he revoked it off um, the Avarian prince. Interesting. And... Shit. <laughs> So, yeah, Croven revoked it because he lost it his territories. Ragnvold the third is not who's a Waldensian heretic has taken over the Isles now. That's interesting. He's got I quite a few troops. Okay, but what I will do now is skip ahead. Well, we'll end the video here, but the next episode I'll probably skip ahead a bit until we besiege this. I may help the Scots against Ireland just to speed up the war, maybe. I, think, I don't think he'll accept. He might call me into it, to be fair. Um, but anyway, we'll go we'll deal with this, take Winchester, and then hopefully capture his daughter. Which we should, once we've taken all his titles, we should be able to, and then I'll marry his daughter off to her. And that way it will secure the Plantagenets from the rebelling against me, hopefully. <laughs> and then I can marry maybe another kid off to um, secure that. But hopefully we, we need to deal with that problem and pump out some more heirs, but <laughs> one out of time. But anyway, that is all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next Saturday, hopefully, I will have a new video up for you. Not really sure what it will be. It might be a bit of House of the Dragon, actually. Or whatever the hell I fancy recording. Or I might do a bit of... Um, um, or I might record... Um, uh, some New England series, actually. I might do that, actually. Because I haven't done play Total War in ages. So, maybe an England series would do next, I think. Um... If I have any more time to upload, I will. But probably Saturday, you'll get some more. Uh, you'll get some more videos. And as long as I'm not too deep in modding, I should be hopefully powering out some more. Um, um, some more content really. With Christmas coming up, I kind of want to get ahead of the content because I'm not going to have a lot of time over the uh, Christmas period to do some content. But we'll see what happens. I might have some time. But uh, yeah. But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next Saturday for the next... Well, this is going up on Wednesday, so it's not too long, actually. So Saturday, you'll get some new content, whatever it might, might be. I don't know. If you want to let me know what you'd like to see, actually, on Saturday, then do get let me know, and I'll do that next. It might be probably either House of the Dragon, or it might be... Uh, but probably House of the Dragon, because we haven't done that in a while. And then I might do some England recording, England series with the America's expansion. But anyway, I'll stop rambling on. That is all for now. Thank you for watching, and farewell.